Now let's uh, look at the simulation capability in IBM BPM. Simulation is something that you will uh, undertake right after your process discovery but before you start your process development. So with the simulation capability after process discovery you have the ability to seed your process with expected data and look for bottlenecks even bef before you've actually implemented any process automation or process visibility solution. So for this uh, demo, I will look at a process called the uh, Intelligent Wells Production and Injection. This is a process in the oil and gas industry and is essentially the steps uh, you need to take to uh, identify and, uh, and dig an intelligent uh, well and then uh, bring it online. So uh, the aspect of the process that we look at uh, uh, for, for the purposes of the simulation demo are these steps uh, in the process. This is right at the beginning when the intelligent well is being designed and a contractor uh, does the design which is then uh, sent to a field development officer for approval. And if the design is approved then the next steps in the process are undertaken. Otherwise uh, uh, the it goes back to the contractor who works on the design uh, again and uh, sends it back for approval and the cycle continues till the design is approved. Now for the purposes of this simulation we need to seed this process with some uh, expected data. So uh, this decision gateway uh, I'm going to uh, go to the simulation tab here and essentially say that 40% of the time the design sent by the contractor is approved by the field, of, uh, field development team and 60% of the time there is some rework that's required. So that's the anticipated uh, breakup between this line in the process and this line in the process. Further I'm going to go to this task uh, which is the approval uh, task for the field development officer and I will say that it takes an average of an hour and a half for a field development officer to review the design uh, before giving uh, the approval or the uh, rejection. Similarly, the time taken to uh, upload uh, uh, a design is also set at an hour and 30 minutes. So let's run this simulation. To run the simulation, I need to click on this stopwatch icon which is what I'm going to do now and this starts the simulation and the calcula calculations are done and the red lines around the tasks indicate hotspots. The darker the red line the bigger is the bottleneck. So in this case we are looking at wait time. Um, and uh, this uh, task which is uh, developing the uh, or uploading the intelligent well completion design by the contractor team is the most bottleneck task. Wait time again is the time uh, it takes for uh, someone to complete uh, to get to a task. So a task may be ready um, for execution but uh, if there are uh, too many of those tasks then uh, these tasks could uh, have wait times where they're just sitting in a queue waiting for someone to actually look at them. So the total time to execute a task is the wait time of the task plus the actual time taken to uh, do the task. So in this case what the simulation is telling us is that this is a bottleneck activity. So let's see what we can do to uh, resolve this bottleneck. So obviously the uh, uh, having a larger wait time means that I have too few people uh, for the number of tasks that are generated. So what I can do is look at the strength of my contractor team. So I'm going to go back, go back here to my designer and I'm going to look at the, my contractor team and here I go to my contractor team and, I've, and I see that I've set up a capacity of just two people. So I have just two contractors that are uh, doing the design work for my um, uh, intelligent wells. So let me up the uh, capacity of my contractor team. Let me double it to four and I'll save that. 
let me go back to my process and run the simulation again. Remember last time this was the bottlenecked uh, activity so I decided to increase the capacity of the contractor team. I click this stopwatch icon again to rerun the simulation. Simulation is running and it's finished running and now you see that the bottleneck around this activity is gotten removed because I increased the capacity of the swim lane. In fact, now the new bottleneck is with the field development team because uh, the contractor team has sufficient capacity to finish their work, but it's likely that you'll now face a bottleneck with the approval unless you uh, make a suitable expansion in the field development team. But this gives you an idea how you can adjust uh, important process parameters like the capacity of your teams, the time taken for a task, the percentages of the paths whenever a process splits uh, via a decision and based on uh, your uh, simulation parameters and the criteria that you set, wait time being one of the most important criteria but there are other criteria that you could use uh, for your simulation, you can determine bottlenecks even before you've actually uh, implemented any process development uh, solution or any uh, process automation solution.